Okay. So for our next painting, you are going to need black, white, raw umber, green light, hooker's green, raw sienna, cadmium red light hue, which is actually this orangish color. It's red, but it's orange. Primary red and cadmium yellow medium. So those are the colors you're going to need. I suggest also having a pencil for this one to start out with. Just to avoid painting a good section of it. So we are going to make a basket of apples. So I am just going to kind of section off where I plan on that basket being at least. Since it's also a shade of brown, I want it to not con I want it to go over the background better than last time. So I just plan on sectioning off that section. All right. Let's see. For our background, we are going to do, it's going to be that wood grain look again. So I'm going to put some raw sienna on there. I'm going to put some raw umber. Now you can use your paint tray if you're more comfortable with mixing on your paint tray. I like how the grain looks when I do it this way. I'm going to put lots of globs of white on here now. I'm going to avoid using black on my background, but if you want to use black, that is up to you. I uh, just add a few dots like you did with it, everything else. And I am actually going to use a big brush again and try to keep that grain in there. And actually, as you mix some of this with white, it'll give you kind of a grayish and reddish tone. I'm trying to not blend a lot. Like I want it to blend, but I want to see those darker strokes in there. So remember, you're making the wood grain again. And around that basket, I'm trying to get close, but I'm still trying to keep my brush strokes vertical because I want my boards to look vertical. Now, if you want your boards to be horizontal, that is totally up to you. Trying to get all the way out to my edges without over blending. Which I might need to go back and put some more dots on my board. I'm going to avoid getting too close to the top of my basket because like I said, this is a basket of apples. White is almost out, even though I found a whole different tube in the classroom. Still almost out. And you can add 
white and brown as many times as you want. Like I said, if you keep that vertical, especially using this bigger brush that has more of a texture when you paint with it, you're gonna get that wood grain feel. I'm not getting it perfect around my basket, but that'll clean up. I'll clean that up more once I'm actually doing the basket part. But so there's my wood grain. And I'm going to go in real quick with black and a real skinny brush to go ahead and make my lines for my boards. So just a little bit on my paint tray. Hopefully you can see that. And I am looking for one of my smallest brushes. I'm going to use a little bit of water. And with a wet brush, I am actually just going to section off and see that skinny wet brush, it makes it more liquidy and blends a little bit better with that brown instead of a harsh black line. Just kind of sectioning off where my barn wood is. And I would suggest doing it while your background is still a little wet, so that way it's not a harsh black line. Now if you want, you could also use your raw umber. It would be a lighter line because it would be more of this brown. But that is completely up to you. And you choose how many boards you want. Definitely working with a wet brush helps and you can even go in and add little markings. So there's your background. Let that dry. Now if you chose to paint right here and just do your whole background, you are going to need to paint a section white in the shape of your basket. Just so you know. I'm not going to show that part, so you're going to need to know that if you painted there or not. Okay, so now I'm going to focus on my basket, which I'm going to paint my basket yellow to begin with, so I'm just going to kind of spray that on there. And I'm going to use one of the sponge brushes to just paint the whole thing yellow. Now if you, again, if you painted the background all solid first, you're going to want to paint this white first. Because notice where I get close to the edge right now, you can see the background through my yellow. Which I'm going to layer this a few times and really like glob that on because I kind of want some texture. But for this first layer, I am just painting my basket yellow. And like I said, I'm gonna do this a few times. This first time with this sponge just to get it all yellow. I'm going to paint right into that brown area. So now for this next part, I'm going to do two big dots of yellow. 
then I'm going to do three dots of raw sienna, so that tannish color. And so it's kind of in a line because then what I'm going to do is take a bigger brush and work wet into wet to create the bottom side of that basket. And I'm going to pull that kind of all the way up. Now this is a lot browner than I wanted so I might add some more yellow. But that is completely up to you. But notice I'm only going up and down for my strokes. I'm keeping it very vertical. Not a lot of side to side. I'm going to add a dot of yellow in the middle of this. The reason I'm keeping vertical is because I want those brush strokes to add texture. And I'm blending it. Now you can make your basket as wide or as short as you want. Just like when we get to the apples, you can add as many apples as you want. There is no certain requirement. I'm going to do three in my bushel and then one off to the side. So I'm just going up to the top there. So see now you can't see that side anymore. And then I'm going to let that dry for a little bit. So letting that dry. 